um, measuring progress. So wives will say all the time, well, how do I know? You know, how do I measure progress? How do I know if this is actually going somewhere? Mm -hmm. So two things to be mindful on that. One is integrity. Are you, are you not acting out? That's, that's a way to measure progress. But that's not the full picture because that's just behavioral oriented. That's not heart oriented. Mm -hmm. That's just the symptomology, you know? Um, a better question in terms of progress and measuring it is, what am I learning about myself, God, and others? Right? So again, you're going to hear this theme, God, self, others, all the way through. What am I learning about God, self, and others? And the, the quality of answer to that question will be indicative of how much progress there is. Okay, and so, so what did you learn about God this week? Uh, he loves us. Uh, yeah. And you learned that in right. Bible school in when you were five. Four, right, <laughs> when you are five, right. Okay, what, that's, that's not a good answer. That shows you haven't done much work this week. But if you say, well, actually, what I'm learning this week, I'm not real sure, but... You know, in this podcast I listened to, I heard this, and then in my Bible reading, I heard this, and it kind of seems like the theme in there is this. I'm not exactly sure how it applies, but I'm working on it. Like, that says you've been doing some work, right? Um, what have I learned about others? Well, significant others, your wife, your kids, and to others in general. If you're in community, back to number three, if you're in community, you should be learning things about those people. Not just what flavor ice cream they like, although that may be part of it but who they are, you know, core of soul stuff. Mm -hmm. And then last is yourself. What are you learning about yourself? Uh, I learned that I've been a jerk and I've got a lot of work to do. Okay, that's a bad answer. If you learn, wow, you know, I checked in on our FitNap yesterday about anxiety and it was about a meeting, it was about the junior high varsity basketball game. I realized I have a lot of anxiety. I live in that a lot. And that's a realization for you. Then you've been doing some work and that's progress. Okay, last thing. I'm talking about did you meet with your guys and what did you learn about them? I'm asking you about your relationship with God and with yourself. There's a huge difference between quantitative and qualitative recovery work. I don't think we talked about this in prior videos. Mm -mm. Quantitative and qual Quantitative is what boxes have I checked? I've been in the Word, been in counseling, went to my group, had my guys, made some phone calls, fill in the blank, right? So these are the things that I've done. Qualitatively, what the heck difference does it make? What difference, is, what difference is it making inside you to be doing these things? And so over and over again, when I hear guys doing a whole lot of stuff and a wife going, well, he needs to do more. He needs to do more. He, he needs to be in another group and have another counselor. And, and he needs to be doing more step work. And I hear this stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. When I can verify a guy is doing a whole bunch of things, but she's still saying that as a wife, it tells me qualitative work is missing. It's not that the reason she's saying do more and he's going, I don't have time to do more. I'm doing everything I can. The mm. reason she's saying that is because more might make a difference, but that's not what we need. She's yearning for that heart change. She's that, yearning for that qualitative yeah. aspect. Yeah. Yeah. You learn that your buddy Jim likes vanilla ice cream, but what did you learn about Jim and how does that affect you? It's a different thing to say Jim likes vanilla ice cream. And I learned that he had this situation with his kids, and he, he taught me that his theological concept of leading your family is practicing forgiveness and asking for mercy. And so now I'm trying to figure out how to apply that in our lives. Mm. That's work. That's qualitative work. Yep. Does that make sense? Totally makes sense. It's like, <coughs> it's like you know, going through life numb and with blinders on versus digging deep and doing real work. Yeah. Now, let's do a pop quiz before we're done. Okay. And then we will really shut it down. Uh, one final, it won't be the last pop quiz though that okay. I ever give you. Okay. So what are you learning about God? What am I learning about God? Um, I in This week. This week, yeah. And that's kind of the thing, is week to week theme. Like if you ask every day, you're probably not going to get much mileage out of that, right? But week to week. Um, well, last week I was learning two things, or this past week I've been learning two things. One is I found a section of scripture that had my name in it, which I didn't, mm -hmm. I hadn't really recognized before, and realized that um, I've had a long-standing issue with my name just being a generic name, and so I feel like there was meaning in my name after I saw that. Mm -hmm. Like that that guy in the Bible with my name was faithful to help the other apostles accomplish their mission in his area in his city. I'm like, 
my name has meaning. Like, I'm trying to be a faithful person to help people accomplish the mission mm. of the city. Um, so that's kind of about God, but it's also about me. Mm-hmm. You know, that my name wasn't an accident. Mm-hmm. Um, others, I can count on others. I, I'm just not learned anew, but reinforced. I can count on others when I'm in the soup that is my head, swimming about in can't figure out what my next step should be on mm-hmm, something. Mm-hmm. So calling Bob yesterday, mm. just he clarified some things and really set me on solid ground. Yeah. And and he was for me. You know, he's for me. He he's not for what's the best outcome. He's for me. Yeah. Right. So Shelly says pop quiz, hear those things. If you can't answer those questions for yourself in a meaningful, qualitatively meaningful way, then what are you doing? You know, do you care about your life? Like, I want to answer those questions for me. If she asks me that question and I can't answer those with anything but crap, I don't, I'm not changing. I'm not leaning in. Like, I need, my heart needs, my soul needs to lean into that stuff. For me, she'll be the beneficiary of it. And it will rebuild trust and reassurance, but I need that. And so I ask you, as a, as a viewer, do you believe you need that? Are you longing for that? Are you chasing after that? So you can answer those questions for yourself. Because if you can, in a meaningful, qualitative way, it'll automatically transfer to her. Mm-hmm. Right. Absolutely. Okay, I'm off that soapbox. Okay.